Hey everyone, how are you? This is Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. How has your business week been? Did anything funny happen? I'm asking because I'm going to talk about jokes and sense of humor. Have you noticed that if you are watching a movie, a comedy that was produced in some other country, sometimes you don't understand why it is called a comedy. It doesn't seem funny to you. Have you ever had that experience? I'll tell you about my experience. I really, really liked the comedy Bridget Jones' Diary. And I watched it first when I was in Latvia. And I watched it in Latvian. In my opinion, it had brilliant translation, and the acting immediately seemed so very funny. I love the actors anyway, especially I've always loved Hugh Grant, who seems so serious but says such nonsense that it makes me laugh so much. I'm telling my husband that he reminds me of Hugh Grant when he jokes. By the way, something funny happened yesterday. We had a little argument here at home. He hadn't told me about pressure washing works that were scheduled for yesterday. And when they started, I was in the middle of recording a video and it ruined everything because it was so loud and it lasted all day. And I was upset at him that he didn't tell me about those works. And he was really sorry and he tried to make it up and he came to me and said, give me a kiss. And I was upset and I said, I don't want to give you a kiss. And he comes up to me and he gives me a kiss and I said, why are you doing that? I didn't want to give you a kiss. And then he comes up to me with his lips stretched out like this. And I said, stop it. I don't want to give you a kiss, I said. And he says, but I want to take back the kiss that I gave you. And I started laughing out so loud. It seemed so funny to me. You know what kind of jokes make me laugh? The most stupid jokes. I don't like those jokes where they are exaggerated. Somebody is trying to make it laughable and for me it looks just foolish. For instance, I also didn't like many comedies when I moved to this country because I was used more to British humor, which we could often see on Latvian TV. Especially I liked Monty Python show. And when I mentioned that to my hobby, he couldn't understand why I liked it. But there is one American show that I liked from the very beginning, and that is The Smart, because that humor is so simple and so ridiculous that I find it extremely, extremely funny. But talking about the Latvian language, you know what is a joke for Latvian? It is juoks, and funny is juocīgs. It is derived from the same word, juocīgs. But we usually don't say that a joke is funny. We don't say juoks ir juocīgs. In Latvian, we usually say juoks ir smieklīgs or juoks nav smieklīgs if we don't find it funny. My son Philips thinks that Latvian jokes are not funny. He says, Latviešu joki nav smieklīgi. But I think that he hasn't seen the funny Latvian jokes. There are a few shows that you can actually see on YouTube that I sometimes watch, and there is one in particular that I watch that I find extremely funny. So in general, I don't think that we can say that British jokes are funnier than American jokes or Latvian jokes or which country's jokes are the funniest because it really depends on those jokes. When I was in Latvia, I actually bought a joke book with intention to read some of those jokes to you, my followers. This is a joke book for children. I looked through it and I don't think that the jokes are purely Latvian jokes. In fact, I think that very few of those have originated in Latvia. I think that many of them are translations. But it doesn't really matter because I'm focusing on the language. 
since now further on I'll read those jokes to you sometimes and I will pick the simplest jokes, not the simplest and the funniest jokes, but the simplest jokes in terms of the language and maybe you will learn some language structures from these jokes. For instance, for today I have a very very simple joke but before I'm telling you this joke I would like to teach you some vocabulary. And the first word that I'd like to teach you is persix. Persix. Persix means a peach. And the other word that I'd like to teach you is abuls. Abuls. And abuls means an apple. And the third word that I would like to teach you is paklais. Paklais. And paklais means a carpet. And here is the joke. Persiks ir kā ābols tikai ar paklāju virsu. I'll say it again, but faster. Persiks ir kā ābols tikai ar paklāju virsu. And this is the normal Latvian speed. Did you understand it? Did you find it funny? It's not very funny. But remember, it's a children's joke. And here is what it means. A peach is like... Okay, I see imagination going on. It's not what you're thinking. So I know you're curious to know what it means. It means a peach is like an apple, only it has a carpet on the top. Or a peach is like an apple, only with a carpet on the top. Yes, it's as simple as that, but remember, it's a children's joke. Perhaps this one has originated in Latvia. It sounds like a small child has once said it and this has been put down because sometimes Latvian collects funny statements made by children. And that's it from me today. I'm going to prepare a note sheet for you so that you can download and have it for you if you liked what I was teaching to you today. Please let me know if you like my idea about learning Latvian from some Latvian jokes. And tell me other ideas what you would like to hear about from me. But now I'll say atā uz redzēšanos. Līdz nākamajai reizei. Till the next time. Bye!